It's day one of the Biotech Showcase here in San Francisco. This morning, I am joined by the Executive Chairman of Actinium Pharmaceuticals, Sandesh Seth. Sandesh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for inviting me. So Sandesh, we're here at the day one of the Biotech Showcase. You've just finished your company presentation. For the viewing audience, can you tell us about your product pipeline? Sure, absolutely. So Actinium has uh, two product candidates, and we have several others that are in the preclinical stage. We have two products that are targeted at cancer patients. Iomap B quite simply destroys bone marrow before a bone marrow transplant with many less side effects than chemotherapy. And Actimab A is a first line treatment for elderly patients with one of the most serious uh, types of cancer known to man called acute myeloid leukemia. And again, the premise there is much better safety profile than chemo and a good efficacy standard. I'm sure many would be interested in learning about the technology of your platform, so could you tell the audience a little bit about that? And there's also been references of radioactive therapies for your product candidates, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So our technology comes from Sloan Kettering, which is, as you know, one of the preeminent cancer centers in the country, if not the world. And the alpha radiation immunotherapy platform was invented by a famous researcher there called David Scheinberg. Uh, we've built upon that and we've spent many tens of millions of dollars uh, doing methods of production, linking chemistry and whatnot. And so we have uh, what is called a picket picket fence strategy uh, where we have uh, several patents. We have, I believe, 39 patents that cover the technology which essentially allows us to develop our products. And Sandesh, I do have to ask you about the financials. In your uh, presentation, you mentioned that your company is not a VC-backed company. So can you give us a little bit of an outlook for the company? Sure, absolutely. The company has about $25 million on the balance sheet, uh, clearly being little biotech, and we have a phase three and a phase two trial to run. Uh, this capital is expected to give us a runway of 12 to 15 months, during which time we expect to be in a phase three trial and in a phase two and generate uh, data which is hopefully positive and create value for shareholders. Also, while we're on the topic of uh, financials, we know that global uh, as well as geopolitical issues do affect all sorts of companies, small cap or mega caps. So going forward, what are the trends that you are seeing in the biotech space as well as healthcare? Sure. Um, essentially, uh, you know, small caps, ever since I've been around in the business, uh, have um, a, 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 good, a good run every, as, as part of every cycle. And in this cycle, which seems to be coming to a close, I believe that uh, small caps, especially in biotech, are gonna be in for uh, a tough time. I believe that there are compelling stories out there, and I believe this is gonna be a year for uh, companies that deliver value uh, to be recognized. So it's pretty much gonna be a stock picker's year, I believe. And Sandesh, before I let you go for the interview, I do want to ask you about another uh, company. You are a chairman of Relmata, and uh, can you tell me what that company does? Sure, absolutely. Relmata Therapeutics focuses on non-abusable drugs for pain. They have three products that use uh, their, pr their patent-protected non-abusable technology to develop uh, opioid opioids. And then they have something called dimethadone, which is a very, very potent NNDA inhibitor, which is in a pretty hot space. And that would be developed both for pain and then potentially for depression. Sandesh, well, thank you so much for your insight and thanks for joining me this morning. Thank you for having me.